Iron Dome is one of the most effective defense systems in the world. Israel's Iron Dome has consistently intercepted over 90% of rockets aimed at its territory. And in 2017, a maritime variant was introduced to safeguard ships and other assets. This capability underscores Israel's robust defense, enabling effective self-protection. The Iron Dome is created to intercept short-range rockets and artillery, primarily targeting unguided rocket and drone attacks. The Iron Dome system is specifically engineered to thwart short-range rockets and 155mm artillery shells capable of reaching distances of up to 70 kilometers. Its manufacturer asserts that the Iron Dome operates continuously, both day and night, even in challenging weather conditions, and can engage multiple threats simultaneously. The setup of the Iron Dome battery includes a radar unit, a missile control unit, and multiple launchers, all positioned together at a single location. In contrast, the Iron Dome operates with a dispersed configuration. Each launcher, equipped with 20 interceptors, is autonomously deployed and controlled remotely through a secure wireless link. It's been reported that each Iron Dome battery can defend an urban area spanning roughly 150 square kilometers. Following the 2006 conflict, a militant group based in southern Lebanon, Israel faced significant rocket barrages causing extensive damage and casualties. In response to this threat, Israel committed to developing a new missile defense shield, leading to the creation of the Iron Dome system. Developed by Israel's Rafael Advanced Defense Systems, the Iron Dome has garnered international attention for its effectiveness in intercepting incoming rockets and missiles. The Tamir missile is equipped with advanced guidance systems and thrusters, enabling agile and accurate interception maneuvers. With a compact design optimized for rapid deployment, the Tamir is capable of intercepting a wide range of short-range rockets and artillery projectiles. Its sophisticated targeting capabilities allow it to track and eliminate threats with exceptional precision, minimizing collateral damage, and ensuring the protection of civilian lives and critical infrastructure. At the core of the Iron Dome is a sophisticated radar system designed to detect and track incoming threats. This radar, equipped with advanced algorithms, swiftly identifies and assesses the trajectory of hostile projectiles, enabling quick response times. Alongside the radar, the Battle Management and Weapon Control, or BMC, serves as the command center, orchestrating operations based on real-time data received from the radar. The Iron Dome's operational workflow begins with detection, as its radar constantly scans the sky for incoming threats, detecting and tracking them as they approach Israeli territory. Upon detecting a potential threat, the BMC analyzes its trajectory, speed, and threat level to determine the appropriate response. If necessary, the BMC initiates the launch of an interceptor missile, known as the Tamir, which ascends to intercept the incoming threat with remarkable precision. The Iron Dome is equipped with a battery. Each Iron Dome battery, estimated to have a minimum of 10 deployed across Israeli territory, consists of three key elements. The initial component is a radar system responsible for detecting incoming rockets. Subsequently, the Tamir Interceptor missile is deployed to intercept the targeted rocket in mid-air. Lastly, a command and control center houses the software responsible for transmitting data from the radar to the interceptor missile. Designed to intercept rockets spanning a range from 4 km to 70 km, the system aims to neutralize threats effectively. Since its deployment in 2011, the Iron Dome has demonstrated remarkable effectiveness in neutralizing incoming threats, with an estimated interception success rate of around 90%. Its tangible impact on saving lives and protecting infrastructure cannot be overstated. However, challenges persist, including evolving missile technologies and the economic viability of interception operations. 
Looking ahead, ongoing research and development efforts aim to enhance the Iron Dome's capabilities, including improvements in detection accuracy, interception speed, and cost-effectiveness. Collaborative ventures with international partners further contribute to the system's evolution, paving the way for more robust defense solutions in an increasingly complex security environment. The Iron Dome has been presented to the Israeli Defense Forces as a more economically viable solution for countering unmanned aerial vehicles compared to the MM-104 Patriot, the main Israeli interceptor. While a Tamir interceptor is estimated to cost approximately 100,000 US dollars, it remains significantly more affordable, being around 95% cheaper than a Patriot, which can cost two to three million US dollars. Despite the Patriots offering wider coverage, the lower cost of UAVs and the specific operational scenarios they encounter suggest that the Iron Dome would be just as effective against them. Additionally, no significant upgrades would be necessary to tailor the system for drone interception missions, as this capability has been emphasized since its inception. So what if we compared the Iron Dome with the Patriot? Each system has the same function to protect a country from missile threats. While the Iron Dome is used to counter short missiles, the Patriot can destroy long-range missiles. The Patriot, produced by the American defense company Raytheon, takes its name from the radar component of the weapon system. Additionally, it serves a role in the anti-ballistic missile ABM system of the U.S. Army. The Patriot employs sophisticated aerial interceptor missiles and utilizes high-performance radar systems. It was developed at Redstone Arsenal in Huntsville, Alabama, which had previously played a key role in the development of the Safeguard Anti-Ballistic Missile System, along with its components such as the Spartan and hypersonic speed sprint missiles. The MIM-104 Patriot has been extensively sold to other countries. It stands out as one of the initial tactical systems within the U.S. Department of Defense to incorporate lethal autonomy during combat. Notably, it was effectively deployed against Iraqi missiles during the 2003 Iraq War. Furthermore, Saudi and Emirati forces utilized the Patriot system in the Yemen conflict to defend against Houthi missile assaults. The Patriot system recorded its inaugural confirmed interceptions of hostile aircraft while serving the Israeli Air Defense Command. Israeli MIM-104D units successfully intercepted two UAVs during Operation Protective Edge in August 2014. Subsequently, in September 2014, an Israeli Patriot battery intercepted a Syrian Air Force Sukhoi Su-24 that breached the airspace of the Golan Heights, marking the system's initial documented interception of a manned adversary aircraft.